Hey friends, welcome to Groups. One thing real quick, make sure you watch the end of this. I have some important updates and announcements uh, that only goes out to groups. It doesn't go out to the whole church because we want to make sure you guys know what's going on. And this is the way we want to do kind of giving more information about what's going on with the church. So stick around to the very end and watch the end of the video. Otherwise you will miss it and uh, you've been forewarned. Okay, so clearly I'm not Phil. I have a wet spot on my sleeve that I don't like. But um, I'm not Phil. Uh, Phil taught today. He did an excellent job. I love this teaching, and I get asked the questions for it. There won't be a sermon-based small group recap. So here's question one. Think of movies, TV, books, etc., and um, who is the most stubborn character that you can think of over, the, over that kind of uh, genre, TVs, movies, books, that kind of stuff? Who's the most stubborn person you can think of? Question two, why do you think Naaman refused the instructions of the prophet the first time? Answer that question and kind of work through the follow-ups and uh, see where you end up on that. How would you describe spiritual stubbornness? All right, yeah. Question four. Forgive me, I'm going to read this because I want to make sure I get it right. Phil told the story of Christopher Yuan, who is um, a man who was drowning in a life of sin, uh, but refused his parents' offer to share Jesus with him. Eventually, Christopher's mom prayed a prayer um, that God would do whatever it took to restore her son to God. He soon found himself in prison, diagnosed with HIV. Would you dare to pray that kind of a costly prayer over someone you love who is far from God. Question five. Naaman was restored back to health by God through the Jordan River. Phil shared that God uses the waters of life to restore us back to him. Do you agree with that? All right, friends, we know that um, a number of you have questions about maybe what's going on at the Foundry Church, and um, we want to take some time and ask you to go ahead and give us your questions. We know there's a lot going on. Individually, you may have questions. As a group, your small group, you may have questions, and um, they may be just kind of floating around in your head and you've been wondering, or your group may have them. We would love for you to do us a favor. Go ahead and start writing those questions down and sending them to us. If you send us those questions over the next few weeks, what we can do is we can look to answer them via this, this kind of, I guess, medium of communication. We will take the questions you send in and we will answer them back to the groups. Uh, we'll send answers to your questions to all the groups, the same video, and it'll give us the opportunity to know maybe where we're missing some opportunities to communicate. So you could be wondering about next, about who's on staff, about uh, what kind of coffee we use. You could be wondering about what denomination we're in, how old you know you have to be to volunteer in shakeout or nursery, whatever your questions are. They can be big things, little things. We just want you to ask them. And then over the next season, we're gonna take some time and answer each, each of these questions a couple questions at a time over the next number of months. So we'll take one or two questions a week. We'll answer them and then show them at the end of the video and hopefully um, help get everybody kind of understanding where we're at as a church and making sure we're communicating faithfully and well to the, to the greater congregation. So please take some time, ask your questions, do that in groups, and then take the group leaders, the, the group facilitators, if you'll take those questions after they're documented and give them directly to Kristen Berghorst, the group's co coordinator, we will be able to respond to them from there. So please take a minute, talk with one another, and let's find out what we're not saying so we can communicate well. Thanks so much. Hope Groups was awesome. Have a great week.